Hi, it's Graham here at Crashtron, and today I'm going to show you how to change your Microsoft Teams room system into a Zoom room, or vice versa. So first of all, let's start off with our touch panel. And as you can see, we have our touch panel in the native Teams mode. So I can uh, press any button and everything happens. Uh, so we're in native Microsoft Teams at present. So you can see the, the front of room screen and my center room console. Uh, so that is all normal behavior. <clears throat> now. Let's say I want to move this into a Zoom room. We've got a project happening and we've got some external people coming in and they need to use Zoom for the week or for a few days. So I come into my XIO cloud and I can now choose a Zoom room. So I can now save the changes there. And this process for the panel to change and reboot takes around five minutes to, to do that. So this is now gonna send the command down to the touch panel to go and change the mode from native uh, Microsoft Teams over to a Zoom room mode. So while that is sending that command over there, let's now go to our uh, Crestron UC Engine, which is the, the Nook we run in the uh, UC Engine tray. And again, in our settings, we can go to the XIO Cloud and we can go to our applications. And as you can see here, we have the option for Teams or Zoom. So we're currently in the Teams mode. And I'm gonna, uh, before I hit save on this, we're ready for the Zoom mode. We will uh, speed this up a little bit in a second. So you'll see the touch panel reboot, and then we'll hit save on the changes for the UC Engine, the Intel Nook, and watch that reboot. So as you can see, the panel is now rebooting, and it's now gonna load the Zoom application that's pre-installed already on all the Crestron touch panels that we have. And while that's now gonna reboot, let's go and save our changes to turn the UC Engine into a Zoom room. So now I'll click Save, instantly the PC is gonna reboot. And now what it's actually doing is rebooting into another partition. So a completely separate deployment of Windows on this hard disk, purely so we don't set, uh, you know, have security any issues between the two. So they're totally separate, different Windows user accounts, etc. So now the PC is gonna reboot. Touch panel is gonna come online. Um, so you can see our BIOS there. Ignore that overlay from my uh, screen. So once this is up and running, it'll be in a new mode of Windows. And actually you have a, a test account built into the Zoom. So you can see it's now uh, logging in uh, automatically on the Zoom side. And what we have is a few things here. So we've got a, a unlicensed room that we can see, current date and time. And we have a pairing code. And um, we can ignore, I've got a, a wireless mouse and keyboard plugged in there, just so I can access it quickly. Um, but we have a pairing code. So this pairing code can be used on the touch panel. So when this comes up online, uh, you're prompted to enter your pairing code. So this will be able to, um, obviously a remote user, or you could do it from XIO Cloud because we have, we have remote eyes to the um, touch panel. And actually while that is loading up, let's get our remote eyes ready. So you can see that's now ready for your pairing code. So two things, obviously uh, you need to have a pairing code. So ideally you need to be in front of the screen, but someone could tell you this. So I could come into remote control on XIO and this is gonna refresh, that's my previous um, uh, screen when it refreshes you'll see the zoom room mode in XIO cloud So I could do it remotely and type it in uh, for that user um, or because it's a simple uh, six-digit code I can simply do that from here. So um, Let's just refresh that So I will get my code and uh, We'll type this in so as you can see now on the screen on XIO. It's there and so now I'm pairing the device and now I'm in full control of the meeting so I can do start a test meeting. And there we have it. That's how simple it is to convert a, from a Teams room to a Zoom room. So you've got all your uh, native Zoom controls here. So this is not a, an API or anything else. This is the pure Zoom client and um, we just probably need to set up that we have uh, our devices set up so we can go to our settings and make sure we've got our soundbar and obviously the camera, we need to make sure it's set to the huddling. And we can then go back to our meet 
now and then do a task call and we'll be able to see myself there now in a second there we go we're able to now see our audio video and everything else so now we're in a zoom mode so that is super super simple to to do that very simple and again we can come back into the settings and convert this room back to a Microsoft Teams room. So you've done your projects, that's all finished with. We come back to XIO and we will change the uh, touch panel to Teams video. And the nice thing is it saves all of what it was previously. So you don't have to go back in and re-enter the pairing credentials between the two. That will do it automatically. I'll then go back to the UC engine and I will convert that back to the Teams uh, build. So applications, make that a Teams video, and I hit my save changes. And really now it's going to shut the machine down, restart, and come into the new uh, Teams mode that was set previously. So very, very simple for people to do this uh, remotely. So you don't need to go to site to do any changes, don't send engineers. As an admin, you've got full control over your uh, meeting room space with Crestron XIO Cloud. Any questions? Let me know. Thanks.